Members of the media were in for a shock when they arrived for interviews ahead of the weekly cabinet meeting at the office of the prime minister. Orange cones were placed near the entrance of OPM to prevent reporters from approaching ministers. According to Press Secretary Clint Watson, the cones are a part of safety protocols laid out by the Royal Bahamas Defense Force. Unable to approach ministers or even their aides, this was the result. Attempts to source interviews via WhatsApp were largely unsuccessful. The only minister to come out sometime later was Deputy Prime Minister Chester Cooper. After standing outside for more than an hour, Communications Director Latre Ramming and Watson invited reporters inside for a meeting on one condition. No cell phones and no cameras. You can come with me, we'll have a discussion first. Uh, your technical crews can leave. No cell phones. We want to have a, a quick discussion. Can we get leave? Inside that meeting, Watson immediately went on the defense, saying the cones are there every day, adding that no one is allowed to enter OPM unless expected. But he didn't stop there. When pressed by reporters, Watson said no minister owes any reporters an interview, adding that reporters cannot depend on cabinet to get stories. This was a far cry from Watson, who in 2019 lashed out at the minister's administration for implementing a similar policy. At the time, Watson was with Eyewitness News and host of Beyond the Headlines. Today, at cabinet, the procedure changed. When reporters who routinely gather every week since time immemorial and from consecutive administrations for the first time found themselves caged in a barricade from the back to the front and pushed further back from where ministers arrive, seemingly to control them from approaching ministers on issues. However, despite the defense force officer, the same one there, they seem to be the bullies, explaining this to be the new norm. Then the secretary to the cabinet in an unusual appearance, she never does this before, came downstairs to explain to the media that the barricades were to stop cars from driving up on the sidewalk behind them, something that never happened before on any Tuesday morning. Yet she said that was what it was for. She was further supported by the director of communications, who you see in the background, and from the office of the prime minister, who said the barricades were not meant for the media. Well, shortly after, the barricades were removed. Things that make you go, hmm. The plan moving forward is to utilize the press room for interviews, Watson said. Reporters now have to inform Watson of which cabinet ministers are needed, and he then will get them for reporters to interview. In a statement, OPM said media access is an important priority for the Davis administration. The statement said using the press briefing room instead of the parking lot and entrance to the building is a way to allow access to ministers without disrupting a very busy workplace. Reporting for the Guardian News Network, I'm Bertha McDermott.